Hi friends! We're here for another Teacher Bree Circle Time today. I am excited to be here with you today. Let's start with our hello song. so glad I get to be here today to talk with you and this week we've been talking about filling buckets we've been talking about you're here for a reason and today and yesterday I talked about being happy and being sad sometimes even about the same thing and today, I want to talk about a new feeling. And this feeling sometimes makes us feel a little bit uncomfortable to talk about. But I want to talk about this feeling. How does she look? How is she feeling? She's feeling angry. Ooh, could you show me your best angry face? Let's see. Urgh, angry. Yeah, and this book is called When Sophie Gets Angry Really really angry and it is by Molly Bang and I am reading this book with permission from Scholastic today. Thank you Scholastic. This is a really great book. It's got Caldecott honors and lots of awards um, and so this is a really great one to get to read at home. When Sophie gets angry, really, really angry. Sophie was busy playing when Look, her sister grabbed Gorilla. My turn, she said. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, Sno Sophie fell over the truck. Oh, how do you think that makes her feel? Maybe even a little sad. Oh, is Sophie ever angry now? Oh no, she's feeling really mad. She kicks, she screams, she wants to smash the world to smithereens. Smash! Uh-oh. She roars a red, red roar. Roar! Sophie is a volcano ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, she runs. She runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Ooh, sometimes when people get angry, they run. They run away. Then for a little while, she cries. Well, sometimes when we're angry, we cry. Now she sees the rocks, the trees, and the ferns, and she hears a bird. Oh, maybe she's getting a little distracted from her feelings. She comes to an old beech tree and she climbs. She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. The wide world comforts her. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down and heads for home. The house is warm and smells good. Everyone is glad she's home. Everything's back together again. 
And Sophie isn't angry anymore. The end. So when you get angry at your house, you can't really run way away into the woods. That's not really a good idea. But I think what this book is trying to tell us is sometimes when we're angry, we need to go spend some time by ourselves. So maybe that means you go to your room and spend some time by yourself. Maybe you do even just go to your backyard or somewhere close by that you're allowed to be to calm down. And maybe instead of, maybe you, you can't go see the trees and the ferns like Sophie did, but you could think about them. You can close your eyes and you can think about some really nice, calm things that will calm you down. Um, maybe it's uh, you think about going somewhere fun or you think about playing in the waves of the beach or um, you think about maybe being with your friends. Sometimes it's good when you're mad to ask for a hug. Sometimes people like to have a hug to calm them down. Sometimes they just need to take big deep breaths. Sometimes they need to run. So maybe you could say, mom, I need to go outside and run and run and run. That will make you feel better. Sometimes when I go for a run, it helps me to feel better if I'm feeling angry. And you know what? All people get angry. And it's okay to get angry. It's an okay feeling. It's just not okay to hurt things or to hurt people when you're angry, to say mean things, um, or to be hurtful or harmful when you're angry. But it is okay to be angry. And we're gonna practice, I'm gonna practice the thing that I've done with you before about how we start toes to nose. Remember we talked about this, and we're gonna do some breathing, so I'm gonna sit here and do it. So I'm gonna start at my toe, and I'm gonna say <gasps> 10, and then I'm gonna do my shins and say <gasps> nine and then go to my knees and say eight and then touch my thighs and say seven and then touch my belly and say six and then maybe give myself a hug and say five and then touch my heart four touch my shoulders Three, touch my head. Two, touch my face. One, and remember if you squeeze your face like this, pull it back like this, it helps you. But also it makes you kind of giggle and laugh because it's pretty silly looking. So I feel like that's a good thing to do at the end. And then you... I like to do that. So there are lots of things that might make you feel angry, especially lately, people you can't see or things you can't do. Um, and like I said, it's okay to be angry. Um, that is an okay feeling to feel. Um, so I'm gonna add angry to my um, faces here. And maybe at home, you could try drawing some faces. You could try drawing some faces that have different feelings. So I'm gonna um, do this as my angry face, Urgh, angry. Um, and sometimes what might make you feel angry is you can't do what you wanna do. Some, someone takes something from you. Remember, you can take deep breaths. You could ask for a hug. You could go for a walk. You could go run around, and but you have to stay close to your families. You have to make sure you're being safe and staying close. But we're not gonna throw things. We're not gonna hit people. We're not gonna destroy things because that is hurtful and harmful to others. So remember that you can be sad, you can be angry, but you can't be hurtful or harmful because that will hurt other people. So today we're gonna sing a song about feelings. We did one the other day and we did If You're Happy and You Know It, but today I'm gonna do If You're Happy and You Know It, but with other emotions too. So we'll start with happy and then we'll go on and we'll do some other emotions, okay? So I hope you can do this with me. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, then your face is gonna be all tight and scrunched up. Face will surely show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. Maybe your lip will be out, maybe your eyes will be down. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're silly and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're excited and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're excited and you know it, say hooray, hooray. Okay, let's see if we can do all five. If you have lots of feelings and you know it, do all five. Hooray! If you're excited and you know it, do all five. Boo-hoo! Hooray! If you're excited, or if you have lots of feelings and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you have lots of feelings and you know it, do all five. Boo-hoo! Hooray! All right, you could work today on drawing different feeling faces. You could work on identifying different feelings. You could work on making more verses to that song with some different feelings um, with your family. And the best thing would be to go outside and enjoy the weather again. Um, and maybe go on a scavenger hunt for some things outside or make some art with sidewalk chalk. Or another fun thing is just to get a glass of water with a paintbrush and just paint on the sidewalk because it changes color or paint on paper with just water, um, colored paper and it changes and then it dries and then you can do it again. So that's kind of fun. So please enjoy your day. I hope you practice doing the toes to nose breathing so that if you get angry, you can use that to calm yourself down. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me for a circle time today. I'll see you tomorrow.